another tutorial in Python. So here, I'll teach you how to declare and use a variable. So again, open the PyCharm, sign in this tab. Then, we make a folder entitled Employees Information System. Then, create. folder so right click then new then go to python file then our file name is variables.py ready net for our coding okay so like what i have mentioned in the previous tutorial so makita mo number sign so dili na siya dili na siya considered for compilation and execution so comment na nga siya so nakita diha kin sa nag so what's a program kano siya sa gihimo and the end siya gihimo okay so in this program i demonstrate na to how to declare and use the different data types in python like integer character string and float Okay, ang main purpose ng ating program is to show how these different types of data types work together. So, giusa man siya, daghan man siya. Like, accepting different inpo input values from the user. And, of course, ma-display ang yung result. Okay, so, one of the distinct features good sa Python compared sa other programming languages like C, C++, and Java, for example, is that we can use the variable in our program without declaring its data type. So, muna siya nakanindot sa Python. So, si Python, we consider po na siya a dynamically type programming languages. So, unsay pasabot anang minta dynamically. So, like sa JavaScript, kung diin ang interpreter nakasign siya variables at type at runtime based on the variables value of the time. So, muna siya ipasabot sa dynamically. On the other hand, kung may ngantag ni C, C++ at Java, for example, gikonsidered na sila statically type programming languages. Kung may ngantag statically, kung diin ang iyong mga variable types are known at a compile time. So, muna siya nakadiperin siya. Okay. So, for the first line sa code, You've noticed na type print open and close parentheses. So, that would mean or provide new lines at ang program. For the second line of code, nag-display siya ug title sa atong screen. So, we have Eastern Visaya State University or mo campus employees information system. The next is another declaration of print open close parentheses again to have a new lines at ang program. Okay, so next is sa portion na nga coding, so the program mag-accept siya of input values from the user. So, ang first line, so you can see natin yung variable na full underscore name. Is considered na siya man ito string data type na mag-accept sa the name of the employee. Okay, so the next variable, tawag na ito o age of the employee. So, which end? or integer data type. Okay, so, nag-refer sa sa age employees in the company. Okay, so, the third variable is a position. So, that has a string data type. Okay, so, the next is we have the wage variable. So, which has a string at its data type at first, but it will be converted into float data type with the use of this expression. So, as you can see, wage 2 is equal to float, open and close parenthesis, wage. Okay, so the next statement, mag-ask siya sa employee's yearly salary. Okay, so, which is accepted as string temporarily, and later on, convert na to siya into float data type using aning expression. So, kita ninyo, we have yearly underscore salary 
2 is equal to flow open and close parenthesis yearly underscore salary. Okay, so for the last statement sa itong program that will accept is the gender of the employee. So in this case, so character of and string in Python are treated the same in terms of this value. So, for the next statement, so they will display the input values given by the user. This is the first statement. So, when I print, open close parenthesis, so primarily for new line na siya. Okay, so the second line will display a message on the screen. So, nata rin so what they have, a display result. Okay, so like what I have mentioned from my previous tutorial, mean text slash t, that would represent the horizontal tab. The next statement is another na said print open close parenthesis to provide new lines at the program. Okay, so for the next statement, it will display the employee's name in an upper case na format. Okay, so the second statement will display the employee's age. For the third statement, it will display the employee's position na pod. So, uppercase format gihapon siya. Okay, so the fourth statement display na po siya sa wage sa employee. So, rounding off into at least two decimal places lang because our data type is float man siya. So, at least two lang siya nga decimal. Okay, so for the fifth statement, they display siya sa employees nga yearly salary. Okay, so again, rounding off into two decimal places because again, ang iyang data type being used is again float. Okay, for the sixth statement, display siya sa gender na po si employee. Okay, so next statement, another print open close parenthesis to provide new lines at the program. And for the second to the last statement, 
So, it will display a message sa screen nga and sa atong program. So, on the screen, the slash T represents again the horizontal tab. And for the last statement, it will display a new line on the screen using the statement open and close parenthesis. Okay, so we're done na in our program. So, again, right click. Yung pag run na to siya. So, naan na siya ang atong output. Okay, so mag-type ta sa employee's name. For example, so we have Candido Picosti Jr. Then, ang iyang age is 61. Position is Assistant Professor 1. What is employee's wage? So, example lang natin is we have 15,500.50 Yearly salary So, natin ay 186,006 pesos Gender is male Then, as you've noticed, so na na ang atong data sa atong employee for sa Eastern Visayas State University or Hormo Campus So that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope na atay na learn. Again, don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.